Hello, welcome back. This is Moris Dimba, and today we are going to handle staircase. And today we are not modeling staircase anymore, but we are going to place uh, rebar, rebars inside the staircase uh, just uh, for reinforcement purposes. Now, if you take a look closer here, you can see the drawing is really clogged. Clogged means uh, it's busy and you cannot access the whole staircase without any obstruction because what you see now is just uh, rebars everywhere. So I want to isolate. I want to isolate the staircase from uh, other members so that I'll be able to deal with only the staircase when doing or placing the rebars as as we go on. Now. To access or isolate the rebars from the rest, from the rest of the uh, of the uh, the model components of the of the model model profiles. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick any flight uh, in this uh, staircase. Just pick any staircase or pick any flight here. Then right click or come to don't right click. Just come to edit. Then come to select. Click on that drop down arrow and you come to select. Uh, same color object, so I'll pick on that option and uh, same color object or the uh, object with the same uh, sizes or measurements will be highlighted. And uh, some we can see some one, two, three uh, pad footing has been selected, but let, let's just work with that for now. And uh, we go ahead and isolate others that, that, we, that shouldn't be included in that particular group. So I'm going to right click and come to uh, show only selected. And uh, we have the part footing in place. Just click on empty screen, then turn that round by click by clicking right but right button on your mouse and hold and move your mouse so that you'll be able to rotate that. So let's first of all select the part footing that we don't want to include in this particular uh, work on staircase. Then just uh, press control and select the rest. Right click and come to uh, uh, hide hide selected and select I'll hide that. So currently what we have is just the staircase, so you can see that. So we see everything in, from every angle, so this is what uh, I preferred by terming it as isolation. You can isolate it from other parts so that I'll be able to handle it accurately or have a clear visibility when uh, placing the rebars. So if I pick my point of interest and I press my right hand button and press on, on, the, on the middle of the mouse and press and hold like that, like that and move my mouse, I'll be able to rotate that uh, easily. So let me place it in a position that I'll be able to see everything clearly. Let me just assume that point is makes, uh, makes a lot of visibility. Now, the, the tool that we are going to use is under, is under uh, the container, container river macros. So container rebar macros falls under reinforcement here. So if you click on that re reinforcement, you'll be able to get container rebar uh, macros. So if you further go ahead and click on container rebars, we have a, a lot of macros here that will, will make your work easier in uh, uh, placing rebars on any uh, concrete uh, component. Now I'll come to I'll come to uh, stair reinforcement and uh, just first of all right click just to have a look. At uh, the setting a dialog box, we have the setting setting. I uh, have the stair, stair reinforcement, and uh, I always prefer using my customized uh, measurements. So to, to use your customized measurements, just uncheck the auto setting. Then if I come to figure, you can see the settings here. It just uh, if you if you uncheck that, will enable this this customized checking. So. Uh, I'll just click on top there. You can see we've made some. Uh, we have uh, retained that as auto, but I've I've fed some uh, some rebar size there and uh, center center distances. You can see that. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to once you've set everything here, always remember that uh, if you to save time in uh, creating a staircase of that similar kind, always prefer to save the settings so we don't go back and forth trying to do the same thing repeatedly. It's, it is absolute wastage of time. Now, always remember to save that, to save your settings like uh, I normally do. Now, once you've done so, I'll just go ahead and click on that tool once again, once you've created your settings and uh, decided that to work, that, that the particular settings you've made works best for you and you've, you've saved 
and what you just do we have uh, uh, select uh, the, the setting you've saved and just go ahead and click load let me just go ahead and show you that the moment you select the settings you need you just go ahead and click load to load all the settings then come here and click up, apply and okay and you will be able to uh, make the settings active uh, active and you'll be able to apply them on this particular staircase so in our case uh, I, I already made the settings uh, as default so i'll just go ahead and click that and select the, the this flight and right click to effect the changes right there so if i go ahead and select another flight and right click i'll be able to create uh, uh, rebars there and i'll go to another flight right there and right click it to confirm the selection and rebars will be placed so i'll go ahead and select that flight once again and right click and we have the rebars in place so let me just terminate that process because i've done all the flights so if i right click if i right click and hold i'll be able to turn my staircase like that with rebars in place you can, you can see that the rebars has been placed in just a click of the button or on the mouse and uh, this might take a lot of time some more softwares which uh, I normally use, but it's better to try both sides so you find where you're comfortable in and uh, you decide to make a choice. Now, this is how it works, and this is how easy it's done in Commerces, and uh, this is it. This is it, and uh, this is how it works. And it just, uh, just count the minutes and seconds I've, I've just used in creating, uh, in placement of the rebars, and uh, see how simple to use and how efficient this looks. Now, this is how it looks. If you take a look on the landing here, you can see the rebars are in place. If you want to check the size of the rebar, either double click and you can see the rebars are in place. Or if you just, just pick one, just pick one and enter letter M, type letter M on your keyboard and enter. So this will take you here where you'll be able to see the, the, the rebar just pick by default is uh, uh, R10. Uh, at a distance of 150 center to center uh, and cover is, is 40 millimeter both sides so th this is how simple it is and let's continue and uh, let's meet uh, don't forget, forget to subscribe to this channel and let's meet then on the next presentation where i'll be taking you through on how we can create drawings on specifically maybe on this particular structure but we'll start with the beams and columns and uh, uh, the tie beams and uh, the pad footings. So step by step, we'll get rich. We'll, we'll, reach, we'll reach up to this particular staircase where we'll be able to generate drawings for this particular one. So let's meet then. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And this is Maurice Dimba. And bye bye.